There are thousands and thousands of towns across the US. And today we're gonna look at the top 10 most unique town names across America, and also dive into the origins of how these places got their names. Number 10, Toad Suck, Arkansas. Now my new American dream is no longer being able to travel the world, it is to move to Toad Suck, Arkansas. The town's name originates back to the 19th century when steamboats would get stuck in the mud during low tide in the Arkansas River. The story goes that the past time, one of the favorite games involved sucking on a toad to see who could last the longest without making a face or letting go of the toad. Whether or not this story is true, the name Toad Suck stuck. Today, the town holds an annual Toad Suck Days Festival, which includes live music, a carnival, and a toad sucking contest. 10,000 likes and I will battle to be the Toad Suck Champion. Number 9. Why, Arizona. Why, Arizona is located in Southwest Arizona. Why is why called why? 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 According to locals, the town founders were filling out paperwork to establish a post office in the community, and when they were asked to provide a name for the town, they wrote why on the application. When the postal authorities questioned the name, the founders explained that they chose it because they were tired of being asked why when they were told where they lived. Why? Number 8. Why Not, Mississippi. See what I did there? Why Not is located in the eastern part of Mississippi. One theory is that the town was named by a group of settlers who were trying to come up with a name for their community. One of the settlers suggested the name Why Not as a joke, and the name stuck. Another theory suggests that the name comes from a conversation between two local store owners. One store owner asked the other if he was going to expand his business, to which he replied, Why Not? And I guess that became the name. Number 7. Idiotville, Oregon now, I don't know a soul who would voluntarily move to a town named Idiotville, but let's hear some stories on how this place got its name. The origins of the name are unclear, but it's believed to come from the early 1900s when the area was used as a logging camp. According to locals, the name Idiotville was given to the camp because the workers were said to be crazy as loons and stupid as idiots. Another theory suggests that the name came from a man named Ed Idiot Kelly, who was a well-known resident of the area and may have been associated with the logging camp in some way. Either way, Idiotville, I freaking love it. Number 6. Booger Hole, West Virginia Booger Hole is a town located in the mountains of West Virginia. According to local legend, the town was named by early settlers who noticed the surrounding mountains were covered in a thick fog or mist. They jokingly referred to the area as Booger Country using the term Booger as a reference to a ghost or spirit. The name Booger stuck and when a small community was established in the area, it was named Booger Hole. Number 5. Hell, Michigan Hell, Michigan is located in Southeast Michigan. Like a lot of these strange town names, the exact origin of the name is unknown, but there are some theories. One theory is that the town was named by George Reeves, a settler who was asked what he thought the town name should be. Supposedly, he replied, I don't care, you can name it Hell for all I care. And the name just stuck. Either way, the town has embraced the name and offers Hell-themed souvenirs. Number four, Sugar Tit, South Carolina. I'm sorry, I gotta dive right into the backstory of this. I gotta hear it. One theory is that the name Sugar Tit comes from the sweet tasting liquid that was given to infants as a pacifier or teething aid. The liquid was made by boiling sugar and water together and dipping a piece of cloth or cotton into the mixture. This cloth or cotton was then tied in a knot and given to the baby and was called Sugar Tit. Another theory is that the name comes from a local moonshiner who used a Sugar Tit shaped mold to make his moonshine. The mold left a shape on the moonshine which was then sold with the name Sugar Tit. Number 3. Truth or Consequences, New Mexico Truth or Consequences, New Mexico is a city that was originally named Hot Springs. In 1950, the city changed its name to Truth or Consequences as a result of a radio quiz show by the same name, hosted by Ralph Edwards, offered to host its 10th anniversary broadcast from any town in the U.S. that would change its name to Truth or Consequences. Hot Springs, New Mexico was the first town to take the host up on the offer, and in 1950, the city officially changed its name to Truth or Consequences. They have an annual Truth or Consequences fiesta to celebrate the day the town officially changed its name, and I know damn well no Hot Springs, New Mexico would have made this list. Number 2. Monkey's Eyebrow, Kentucky This unique town is located in Ballard County, Kentucky. The town's unusual name has an interesting and slightly debated history. One theory is that the name comes from the shape of a nearby curve in the Ohio River, which resembles the brow ridge above a monkey's eye. 
Another theory suggests that the name came from a citizen of the area named Monkus, whose bushy eyebrows earn him the nickname Monkey. Either way, I love it. Number one, Burnt Corn, Alabama. Now many of these towns I would not move to because of the name, but this one, this one I would. Located in the southern part of Alabama, one theory is that the name Burnt Corn comes from an incident that occurred during the Creek War of 1813. According to the story, a group of American soldiers left a pot of corn cooking on a fire when they went out to fight. When they returned, they found that all their corn had burned. One soldier jokingly called the area Burnt Corn. Another theory suggests that the name comes from a presence of a native plant known as Burnt Corn Plant, or Silky Corn Flower. Either way, Burnt Corn, I love it and it's our number one in today's video. If you wanna see a part two, drop a comment down below. Now, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like down below. If you want more videos like this, make sure you subscribe so you can check out more of my content. I also have a Patreon link down below. You can join for as little as $2 a month and I offer weekly deals on all-inclusive resorts as well as I send out weekly tips on how you can save money when booking your next travel.